everyone. Welcome to Mabel Smith Douglas Library. My name is Kayo Denda and I am the librarian for women's gender and sexuality studies. I have been working at Rutgers since 2000 and I started as a women's studies librarian but in 2010 I added gender and my title became women's and gender studies librarian. And more recently, in 2018, my title added another word, and it's now Librarian for Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies. Uh, this evolution, if you will, it actually highlights the evolution of the field of women's and gender as a, as a discipline, and it reflects the interests of our scholars, the community of students and researchers, at Rutgers and also around the world. This is a Mabel Smith Douglas room. This is actually a reading room for students. It was renovated in 2019 thanks to the generosity of a Douglas alumni. Her name was uh, Suzanne Vim Whitlock from the class of 1966. And at the one corner of the room, we have a print material that relates to Douglas College history. My areas of interest range from the history of women, specifically women of color. I have also been involved in projects about the history of women at Rutgers University, as well as the history of Douglas College since its founding in 1918. I am also uh, been collaborating with a group of uh, physicians and healthcare workers at the Robert Wood Johnson Medical School uh, with a, a a seminar series about transgender individuals and communities. And if you are interested in any of these areas, I'll be more than happy to share um, what I have learned over the years that might be helpful for your research projects or for your own personal interests. Related to my areas of interest, I have been involved in a variety of projects as a librarian of Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies at Rutgers. The project that I'd like to mention is a book project titled Douglas Century, The Transformation of the Women's College at Rutgers University. And it is about the 100 years of Douglas College as a women's college and different challenges that it had until becoming the Douglas Residential College today. The other project that I was involved in was a film project and it's called From the Boarding House to Boarding Room, 250 Years of Women at Rutgers. And uh, it is a film that talks about different roles that women played within the university. Uh, the university was, was actually celebrating the 250th anniversary. And although the Douglas College was founded only in 1918, women in different forms and different roles had uh, contributed to the history, to this long history. So the, the filmmaker, June Cross, she is a, an award-winning filmmaker. She created the film and uh, the libraries played a large part in um, not only contributing the archival material, but doing a variety of research for the filmmaker to create the narrative. More recently, I have been involved in the project or a seminar series called Bab Cyprestine Humanities and Medicine Seminar Focus on Transgender. And this is a project from healthcare workers and uh, faculty members of the Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. Uh, it is about the transgender patients that they treat, and uh, it was in response to their inquiry and their desire to learn more about the transgender patients from a humanities perspective so that they can offer a more comprehensive and compassionate care. So this has been, it's an ongoing project and we are all learning a lot about uh, the transgender issues from a variety of disciplinary perspectives. I have been also involved in creation of digital projects and the first one I'd like to mention is the Center for Women's Global Leadership Poster Collection. It is a collection of about 300 posters collected by the Center for Women's Global Leadership, and we were able to digitize them, create a metadata, 
and uh, uh, make them available to women's groups and women worldwide. These were posters created in the 90s mostly, uh, before the internet, before the social media, and the print posters were the only way people could actually communicate about their activism. You can find these digital collections on the Rutgers Library's website and also on the website a digital collection on women that I'd like to mention is a collection of interviews called Women, Education and Leadership at Rutgers, which is a collection of interviews collected by June Cross for the making of the film From the Boarding House to the Boardroom, 250 Years of Women at Rutgers. Uh, several faculty members, current and past, along with the president of the New Jersey Federation of Women's Clubs that uh, contributed for the creation of the Douglas College are interviewed. And it's a very unique um, primary source material that talks about the in institutionalization of women's and gender at a university level. I also authored uh, several research guides that are always available as a digital resource on the library's website. And uh, they consist of course guides or topic guides on women's and gender and sexuality, uh, includes a guide about uh, transgender individuals and issues, which is tied with the Bab Cyprestein Humanities and uh, Medicine Seminar, and many others uh, about the broad, broad uh, topic of women, gender, and sexuality studies. Uh, the librarians use research guides to point to resources under a certain topic. And I have created uh, over the years a number of two dozen research guides and we try to keep them relevant by updating with new material or new, new information that we get that might be helpful to our users. And the term collection these days refer not only to uh, material that the libraries own or the libraries subscribe to, but also to sources that live on the web that might be very useful for users doing a certain type of research. And we try to keep them updated as much as we can so that they stay relevant to our users. You are very welcome to reach out to me and I will do my best to address your research needs and appoint to resources that might be helpful for you in your information seeking process. So remember that all of us here at Rutgers Libraries are happy to support you in your academic endeavors or your personal information needs.